So we are here because you both took part in the reciprocal mention here at the university. Can you tell me why, Yvonne, you took part? Oh, it became really obvious to me with international events last year that, that we needed to do more, um, certainly within the university, but particularly in the areas that I've got responsibility for. And, I, and I'm really passionate about making sure that we can we can bring those changes about for our students and make sure that students can access services at the university without any barriers. And I wanted to make sure we could remove some of those barriers um, and, and do that work. And for me, I, I wasn't sure at first, if I'm honest. I didn't think that I could bring much yeah. to the programme. Like I, and I, I was like, you know what, if I can make a difference, even if it's small, then I should give it a go. And I'm really glad I did, <laughs> really glad. One of the um, key messages that I got from all of this from a, f a few other staff members and students I spoke to was they felt that it was a safe space, you know, because we all have questions to do with, um, you know, race, religion, you know, and sometimes we just don't know how to ask those questions. So for you, Yvonne, did you feel that you were able to ask those difficult questions and you were able to get that response from Evie? Yeah, well, once we'd established a relationship, I mean, certainly I didn't launch in, in the first meeting and ask her all of these really difficult questions that I'd been dying to know the answer to because that wouldn't have been appropriate. But I think as the six months developed and we, we started to, to talk to each other more and more, you know, not just once a month, we sort of ramped it up a little bit, didn't yeah. we? As we got to know each other and we understood a bit more about each other's lives, it became easier to ask some of those tricky questions, yeah. uh, the questions that, that we should have been asking to be able to move forward in a really useful way um, and I think we both got to the point where we were felt more able to share yeah. I certainly felt more confident to be able to ask some of the questions that originally I would have thought am I, if I ask this am I going to offend Evie I don't want to do that how do I phrase that in order that I don't offend her yeah. um, but then we, we've moved to a point where we can talk really open I mean I think definitely, you know, definitely. <laughs> <I'm there like laughs> we no. talk about all sorts um, but but we've got to the point where we can talk about all of these things yeah and it doesn't matter if I actually mess it up yeah. Evie will say well that would upset me because of x and I'll go yeah. okay I, I know never ever to do that again do you know yeah. and I think sometimes it's that fear isn't it that stops people from doing the positive things that they really want to do because they're not sure how their statement or their question will be received. For anyone who has been thinking about a scheme like this but aren't too sure, you know, from a staff member point of view, what would you say to them, Yvonne? Anybody contemplating it should just go ahead and do it. But feel the fear and do it anyway, yeah. I think is the phrase, isn't it? Yeah. And actually that is spot on. Yeah. I feel like it's changed you so much. Can you describe that kind of change? I'm not sure I can. Because I, I, um, I feel like as you're talking, it's, it's like it's really touched you. Like it's, it has. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's, had a, it's had a major impact on me. And what I wanted to do, and what, what, what we were touching on earlier around Evie's experience impacting on, on me, it's that as a director of service, if I can take that individual experience yeah. and translate it into services for everybody so that everybody's individual needs are met in a way that is conducive to them, then I know I'm doing a good job. Yeah. And that means thinking about students of colour mm -hmm. and the way they see the barriers. It's, 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 it's transformed the way I think about the services that we offer students. I love that. I love nice, that. <laughs> I, I, I do. I just love it. Because it is, it's, it's, it's nice to have someone who is just unapologetically just authentic and <laughs> can be honest, you know, and I love that. And for you, Evie, for any students who are thinking about, you know, this is a waste of time, why would you encourage them to, to take part? You know what, I think it changes your view on just, you know, people high up in uni institutions. Already, like, I know a lot of young black people sometimes skip university, don't think it's an option for them, don't think it's the right fit for them, especially predominantly white ones as well. Um, I think this is the first time where I've spoken and I feel like I've been heard, not just listened to, Yeah, you know. And I, I want that for other people, like just, you know, I, I feel like I've got a friend in the uni. I'll, I'll be messaging her on LinkedIn, just like, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get a coffee? You know, like yeah. it's just, even at the very least, yeah. like you said what you wanted to do for, you know, your department and everything else, but at the very least you've helped me at uni. And if you can help one person, I think that's enough sometimes, yeah. you know. And literally, that's all it is, isn't it? It's just students knowing that 
their voices, their voices and experiences will be heard. And there's none of that, you know, gaslighting or, mm. but actually it's more than that, you know, and being, having someone that fully understands why it's so important to you. Brilliant. Mm.